<laughs> people say it's a fluke. Now we're about to answer to those questions of if it was going to be a fluke or not. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting, man. I mean, I feel like Sugar knows he can't just come out and start swinging. You know, Cheeto gets better as the fight goes on, and he has an absolute gas tank. So, you know, this is going to be Absolutely. you know five rounds. Five rounds with Marlon Cheeto Vera is no walk in the park. So, I got a, I got a lot. I got a lot. This is going to be this going to be a lot of fun. I'm having a stroke in my mouth. I can't it's even talk. Oh, the poll just fight. 51% Cheeto. Wow, we're going 51 Cheeto. No shit. No shit. And by the way, everybody, right after this, we're going right to the press conference room, going right to the press conference room for the post-fight press conference. Dana White will be there, all the winners from the evening. And then it's going to be my show, baby. And we're going to have a good time together for the aftermath with Dave Potter. Tune in exclusively on YouTube, and we're going to break down all the fights and everything that we've just seen. I promise I won't be 30 seconds behind and reading all your comments, and I fucking love every single one of them. Hey, once again, troll yeah, singing songs, my people. Come from 6 to midnight. Give me a boner. I love every single one of you. But tune in for the post-fight press conference after this fight, and also the aftermath with David Bach. And we'll get Franco and uh, Mario maybe to join us. What do you guys think? 2 a.m.? Fuck yeah. 2 a.m.? I'll be on my third dream. <laughs> it's, it's about three hours past my bedtime right now. And we're losing an this hour like tonight. Hey, for those, of you who don't, for those of you who don't know, we are going we are going moving forward an hour. So move those clocks if you got, if you got the old iPhone. If you, if you don't, you're going to lose an hour of sleep tonight. So. And uh, if you got a terrible memory like me, just always remember, spring ahead, fall back. Wow, that's good, actually. You like that? Yeah. That's actually really good. Man, you guys next level. Josh yeah. and Matt Michaels, another big, big man. <laughs> man of Mons versus well done. Around, Dan goes to do it and know that. <laughs> hey, we're almost at 6K. I love it, baby. Keep it up. Tell your friends. Oh, we're at 6K? Fuck yeah. 6K, big dick bandits. I love it. Tell your mother, your sister, your father, your brother. Here we go. Well, we got Sean walking out. Box. Julie Duvall, Dabagoo. We got Israel Jacobson, Oil Up Dana. That's what I'm going to do. When I'm in Las Vegas, guys, I'm bringing... All that oil, all that Crisco. And I talk to Nina Drama a lot. Shout out to Nina Drama, friend of the show. I'm definitely, we're definitely going to bring that fucking uh, oil up. We're going to bring that that's Crisco and we're going to oil up Dana White for UFC 300. And you guys have to come out, by the way. Mario and Franco, both of you guys have to come out. Oh, man, that would be, that would be an absolute show. Especially in Atlantic City. Oh, my God. Fuck yeah. Dude, we'll, dude we're going to be in trouble. Like, if we're trouble on the live streams... If we're trouble on the live um, the live streams, holy shit, we're gonna be in trouble in fucking uh, in Atlantic City. That's gonna be bad news. We're gonna get fired. Just saying. <laughs> and AC, yeah, AC's gonna be a problem. Six thousand. AC's Six gonna be a problem. And the, and the poll is still hanging strong. Fifty one percent taking Cheeto. What's that? The, the highlight reel says elbows. if the Cheeto. The elbows. Elbows on the table. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this guy <laughs> The Spin camera looks like we're having a <laughs> over here in New York, man. I was just throwing elbows on it. Wait, what's going on? O'Malley going to end third. Oh, okay. Cheesy belly button from Golden Club. <laughs> Fucking screen name. Awesome, man. Will we be watching closer? Maybe. Crisco colored panties. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Meant to vote Cheeto. White energy Verdum. If you are who you say you are. <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> Holy shit. Sean is the goat, the top. Let's go, Cheeto from Aterio Rivera. Cheeto, Cheeto, Sugar Show Baby from Derek Brooks. What's up, man? How you doing? Andrew, Sugar, second you? round TKO. Great prediction. Dean loves stuff. What's that? Hello. What's going on, man? Vera's going to be the new and approved from New Cactus Productions. Kidding me? That really. I mean, that's... Right there, I feel like he's, he's made getting me. paid tonight. <laughs> he's getting paid. I feel like that just made my night watching that, though, for getting real. Paid, this getting fight, paid, getting Anything can happen in this fight, and I'll be all right. For sure. Oh, that, that, if Poirier, you know, the Oliveira fights, what, next week? So, he'll probably fight the winner of that. That'd be a good one. Yeah. And we got six... Yeah, Mick says, Poirier. I hate Poirier. blind Poirier. children. Who says I hate blind children? I don't hate you. I don't hate blind children. Come on, man. Come 52% on, brother. Cheeto. 52% Cheeto. The polls are going up for Cheeto, baby. 
he, the polls are going Trippy up. Trippy says two thousand on fucking. Uh, ver, uh, that, that's good. that's a dangerous bet, my friend. But Francis P says gay funny. Hey, don't call me names. But I love you, man. Thank you very much. David has black children from <laughs> Oh my god. This is this night has been the best fucking comments ever in my life. They guys, I've been doing this for a long time. And by the way, I'm one of the best in the fucking business, so you're welcome. But between 200k to 2.1 million, by far, all the shows we've ever done, this is the best comment section. You guys are the best fucking people that have been in the chat. So shout out to you guys, producer, ring in some fucking round of applause for everybody in the fucking chat. Class participation, baby. Fuck hey, you're gonna see us at every numbered car. So come, come back, come back and hang out with us. For every numbered car, we'll be here hanging out. Absolutely, and I'm coming just thinking about it. So come out yep. and uh, hang out. All my bros and hoes in different area codes, hang out and uh, have some drinks with us and uh, party with us on the live stream every single time. And here we, we have go, the, the last... main event of the evening. Cheeto taking on what a stack card. Sean O'Malley. Has the round started yet? Not, no, yet. No, not, not yet. And these guys are going to take over on color commentating, and I'll be adding some background noise and just reading the chat and being entertained by all you bad motherfuckers because I'm 30 seconds behind. <laughs> You're very welcome, Daniel Love Chris, Green. We got Chris in Jersey says, You guys are better than the other streams. God bless. Hey, I fucking love you, Kristen. What's up, Shouty? Everybody in the comments, please hit on Kristen. I bet she's beautiful. I bet she's sexy. You know Kristen's sexy, especially for joining us. We appreciate you. Dog day, gonna leave now. Well, fucking beat it, nerd. Looks like your hair is coming way back. Way back. Well, your mom loves my hair, so give me a spoon so you can eat my ass. And now, 5,900 people. Let's go. Main event. We'll kick color, come, color, color commentating over to the boys at the oven. Why, yes, sir. Hey, we got the 14th and final fight of the night. Nine of which featured at least one fighter ranked in the top 15 in their respective division. I mean, what a stack card. Holy cannoli. Nick Gurr, 35000 on Sugar, huh? Nick Money line on Sugar. Love to Did you just say Nick Gurr? on that <laughs> Dude, nature on you, Nick This event the, 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 the street name. Oh, my God. Mario. Say, say that name one more time, Mario. O'Malley's first defense. Malley's first defense of the bell. He won. We scored a TKO win over Aljo at UFC 292, riding a five-fight win streak. Which you were there for. Which I was there for. We were all there for, yeah. But, hey, this is uh, – we got some bad blood. It's about to be settled up here. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. It's going to be a great they go, fight. You guys actually show. We can't show that, man. I would love to, though. <laughs> yeah. Bombos. Cheeto looking like door. the guy that Cheeto pushes around the shopping cart. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, too. <laughs> actually, Dante, me and Strickland get along just fine, and Strickland actually shares my posts. Actually, him, me, and Nina have a fucking troll going on, so show, my, show us how much you know. You you enjoy while the fucking pros are fucking doing the stream, okay? And you just enjoy sitting in your mom's basement. Show us how much you know. But follow me on Instagram, and you can follow all my adventures and all my... Actually, Sugar Sean O'Malley actually shared one of my memes, and Sugar Sean O'Malley, shout out to him. We get along just fucking fine. Some of the best interviews. Just saying. But yeah, here we go, main event. Sorry, I'm just, I, dude, I'm just reading the fucking comments, and I'm just, my, it went from six to midnight. I got a, I got a boner right now, just reading these comments. Best comment section in the fucking, in all the time I've done this stream, this is the best comment section. And I appreciate fucking every single person, 6,200 legends right now joining us. when the round the starts. UFC 299. It's about to start. We'll let you know. I, every time I look at O'Malley, I feel like I'm watching The Simpsons. <laughs> hey, we got Keith Peterson. We got P Keith Peterson officiating the final, the the, uh, the main event right no now. No nonsense. No nonsense from the main. Zero nonsense. We're about to be starting up right and now. And it's on. Oh. And here we go. You, you wonder if Sean's gonna come out swinging, man, or if he's gonna he's gonna try and just keep the pace. You know, you know, Cheeto is ready for a brawl. So, exchange leg kicks. Cheeto maintaining well, the center of the octagon, sizing each other up. Mabuba Thang, oh, David so me fit loud <laughs> right now. Oh yeah, front <laughs> kick from O'Malley. A right <laughs> kick. 
Switching stances a little bit, going southpaw on him now. Cheeto just chilling right in the middle of the octagon. Sean always got that crazy hair rocking, man. Yeah. That's what I said. I feel like I'm watching The Simpsons. Look at that. Looks like fucking yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah. I think it looks solid. The braids, I dig it. One minute in, one minute in, a lot of sizing up. Yeah. Mario just getting comfy. It's a five round fight. Slowest round one we had all night. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Oh, Sugar with the Sugar's playing basketball. Left kick man. to the body by O'Malley. Sugar's looking like Ever says my pinky gets stinky when I get pinky. <laughs> That's the best comment I've read so far. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. Cheeto. Cheeto throws some fake lefts, fake front kicks. Three and a half minutes left in round one. I mean, listen, Sean is beating guys. on him, but. <laughs> Great low kick by Sean. They're just circling around, circling around the middle of the octagon right now. Yeah. Cheeto with a good front kick. Gauging that distance right now. Ooh. Oh! The crowd, you hear the crowd yelling Cheeto's name right now. Cheeto checking their front well. kicks. This is a home game for Cheeto, basically. For sure. For sure. Oh! Cheeto with a good combination. Couldn't touch him, though. Yep. Sean's just elusive, man. He's, he's, he's just so quick on his feet. Another shifty guy. Left kick to the inside leg. Oh. Look at that left leg again. Still sizing each other up, pretty yeah. much. Halfway through round number one, we're approaching. Right. A right to the body from O'Malley. Cheeto pushing the pressure just a little bit. Yeah. You're so right, man. Cheeto's hair looks crazy right now. Yeah. Cheeto trying to engage, but... Sean's just got those that those that yeah. long reach, man. He's really he's so tough to get inside of. Oh, oh! good front, good good forward leg. Good. That was a crazy left. Good straight left, right to the fuck, right to the chin. I almost thought my first curse tonight. Ooh. Cheeto with a good kick. Oh, Sean coming in. They're swinging now, ladies and gentlemen. One of the comments is David Potter licks windows. <laughs> 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 I, was, I was laughing at that too. I don't want to fucking interrupt. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to comment, but that got me good. <laughs> you can you can see the, the 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 respect for the other. For sure. In, in for this sure. round right now. They've been here before, man. Yeah. They've been here before. They know that, the, that there's another 20 minutes. Both of these guys are just kind of computing the data. I mean, yeah. both these guys don't want to fucking blow their wad in the first round. And we got five rounds. It's going to be a long fight between both these guys. So just computing Good the shot. data, see what the other guys bring to the table. You know, just do the distance round and range. What the sugar show in O'Malley usually does. Oh, a jab from O'Malley. A little front kick action from O'Malley. I like the pink shorts, man. I really like the pink shorts. I dig it. I'm I thought I was going to hate it. They're growing on me. That Bravo guy, Trump 2024, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Cheeto switching up stances a little bit, a little bit of hand fighting. The crowd seems pretty split, man. Just two men that have a lot of respect for each other standing in the middle of the right now. Throwing Our a bunch coach of says, pink shirts hard. I have to agree with you, baby. Let Tito get it. Save me, Donald Trump. Oh, it's coming, baby. It's Another coming. From him, Ali. Sean just attacking the body here. Halfway, we got 30 seconds left round number one. Oh, Cheeto pushing the pressure a little bit. Yeah. Good kick by Sean O'Malley. See, every time he makes that, he fakes that kick. Every time Cheeto fakes the kick, Sean Bates. You got, you got to respect it. You yeah. got to respect it. 10 seconds left round number one. I, this is one of those rounds. It's kind of a toss up, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh, just missed. Big, big right by O'Malley. First round, very close. Like I gotta get that to O'Malley. First round, up to the judges, man. That's, that's yeah, you know. I got, uh, I got. I, David, you my ninja. No, East, you my ninja. Appreciate you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I'm gonna have to go first round for O'Malley. Definitely, he was able to gauge Rich, range. No he was able to uh, get some combinations off. Uh, get some striking off. Definitely landed more more strikes as far as volume is concerned. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And I'm 30 seconds behind, by the way. Yeah. So that's why I'm laying these guys 
do their co lead commentating debut for this live stream. So letting letting these bros fucking do it, and uh, yeah, they're doing a great job. So shout out to shout out to these That's guys. Him. Sugar Sean, twenty five to eleven on significant strikes in round number one. That that in itself, I guess you got to give Sean O'Malley yeah. round one to to him. But uh, the polls still saying fifty one percent yeah. Cheeto right now. But is Cheeto going to be able to cut the distance? We st we, we still gotta we still gotta see if he can. Round Aha, one, says W. Needle. David, have my kids. Absolutely, brother. You get some of this winter <laughs> juice. You you come over here yeah. and get some of this legend juice. Round number two. Here we go. go. <laughs> That's the best comment I've ever read in my fucking life. <laughs> Can we post that comment, please? David did 911. Oh, that's great. Oh, that gives me a boner. I love it. As we go to round number two, but I'm going to have to go with uh, right uh, right uh, 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 oh, a spinning. spinning kick from O'Malley. Cheeto didn't, ate it. Didn't really phase him, though. Is this going to be the first round Cheeto gets put on his back? Is this going to be the first time Cheeto gets knocked out? Who knows, man? The way these guys are swinging, man. Right? That's a good combination by Cheeto coming in. I like that. Fake the knee to the body yeah. and then go over yeah, the top. Right over the top. Sean's, hit, hit. Sean's throwing right those heavy rights. Those heavy rights to the lead leg. Body shot, body shot, body shot. He's just got – again, he's just got so many crazy he, – he, he can come from any angle. You know, you know what's crazy with these two guys is I feel like the oh, best – kick to the leg. The best, the best defense is offense. For, if yeah, you're either sure. one of these guys. Mm -hmm. For sure. Still sizing each other up. Yeah. Minute and a half into round number two. Still dancing around the dancing around the octagon a little yeah, bit. Che Cheeto seems to be really maintaining the center of the octagon. Yep. Sean's really interested in Cheeto's body. Yeah. That's what she said. So he just keeps oh, my God. Right up to the body. <laughs> oh, and a head kick by O'Malley. He keeps setting up with the body shots, man. He yeah. Keeps, he keeps him with the straight rights of the body, left of the body. Here we go again, left of the face. He, Sean's just switching angles on him. He's switch, switching levels left and right. Yeah. Oh, jab, straight jab from O'Malley. The jab is finding a home in round number two. Switching up the stance on him again. Front right kick. Oh, oh. they just exchange jabs on yeah. that one. Both touch each other. He's, he, Sean just has like those those quick fakes, man. That make yeah. you think. Catches Cheeto's foot. Yeah. I don't like that move, catching the foot like that. He no. keeps go. He keeps going to town. He keeps going to town on Cheeto's body. Right from O'Malley. Oh. It seems like uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley's, O'Malley's just picking him apart. Yeah, it, it's it, so it's he's, very, very, he's being just very precise. Oh. Little combination from O'Malley. Yeah. Oh, looked like he hit him over the ear. Yeah. With a, with a nice left. Cheeto's fine though. Cheeto's got a Cheeto's got a chin on him. It looks yeah, like uh, Cheeto's said, man. Like, oh my God. Yeah. You know, I, I don't he's even he's know. Using, uh, I don't even know if O'Malley's faster. It just he's keeping that distance yeah. that 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 Cheeto can't. Sean just is piecing him up right now yeah. with, with the left and the right. Body shot Body again. again. Man. Yeah, oh my. And Vera has that fucking oh shit light. So every time my uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley comes forward, Vera is covering up and he's backing off. And you don't want to fight Sugar Sean O'Malley out of range. Oh, Vera oh. throwing with a nice heavy left over the top. Might have snuck that one in there a little bit. A minute 45 left in round two. Yep. Sean's left is looking good, man. Yeah, it's fucking money. Nice shot right to the body. Oh. Just out of range. Oh! Oh! oh knee, to knee, 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 knee to the face! Cheeto's hurt. O'Malley. Cheeto's hurt. Oh! Up against the face. We got a minute and 20 left. O'Malley swinging. Oh, Cheeto's, Cheeto's busted face open. is busted open. Oh, my. That was so loud. Oh. And Cheeto's got a shit. Cheeto is a dog. They heard that in Ecuador. Oh, my God. He, uh, Sean just stuck to the right, left over oh. the top. This could get ugly. Cheeto's got a minute left. Cheeto, look. Oh, Cheeto's, oh. Got the, Cheeto's got the foot. Nothing. Cheeto looks like he's got his. He's got. He's got his ground though. But yeah. That, that jab keeps finding a home. Another left. Another jab, jab by O'Malley. A right. Backs Cheeto up against the cage. Cheeto swing. swinging. Oh shit. And Sean's opening up a little bit. 
Sean's just putting those fucking combinations together. Left. 30 seconds left. Man, Shido has an absolute chin on him. This man yeah. cannot be knocked down. Iron chin. He's got to weather the storm ball. for another 25 seconds. Oh, we oh. oh, the right snuck in. Another, another good good left jab by Cheeto. Sean answers right away. Changing blows. Oh, oh another big kick. left kick to the head by O'Malley. Going back to the body. Another left jab. Right jab. Oh, oh, right. Oh, straight right, right to the chin. Ten seconds left. Escape fucking Five. Oh, oh. Hold him. O'Malley wobbles wow. him. Wow. And what, that's a, it. what a round for Sean O'Malley. Jesus. And we're on to oh, round three. The, 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 the biggest Sean problem right now with what Vera is doing is playing on the up. outside. He can't fucking play on the outside. So the, what Vera is doing, every time he comes forward, Sean O'Malley is backing up and then going back. So when uh, Vera go, when Vera goes in the fucking pocket and comes with like a fucking jab or anything like that, when he shifts his dick to the left, the right, or forward, fucking Sh Sugar Sean O'Malley is backing up and making him fucking pay for it and putting together combinations. Also switching stances too and just mixing it up with jabs, elbows, knees. He's just putting fucking together. And you know what? Every time Sean O'Malley comes forward, Vera's oh shit light comes on and starts fucking covering up. I mean, Vera cannot oh! play the else. Oh, the replay. He's lucky the replay. Here. I respect the shit. The replay is crazy of, the, of this knee that hit Cheeto right in the chin. Dude, I... Vera's got some balls on him. He's got a fucking iron chin to survive that knee. Wow. Oh, the, the sound. The sound. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. We're going into round number three. What do you got? Round number three right now? Going into start of round number three. Two rounds yeah, to none. Sean, Sean Vera. It, it, it seems a lot longer because fucking Vera's taking an ass whooping right now. But once again, Vera has to yeah. get Sugar Sean and Molly's respect. And he's got to angle him off. When you fight against a tall, lankier fighter who's always pawing that out as a measuring stick, has you already measured so quickly into the fight? You know he's got he's got to mix it up. He's got to, he's got to change up his strategy going into the next round. Or you know it's going to be lights out. Vera's not looking good right now. Oh, Sean snuck. Sean found it at home for that for that left again, right on the chin. And the poll has flipped. <laughs> Fifty-one percent O'Malley. Still close. So close. Of course it did. Of course it did. We have almost fifteen thousand votes. Thank you. Yeah, keep them coming, baby. Keep them coming. We got four in round number three. This has been an absolute war so far, but more more so on uh, on Cheeto's face than anything else. But let me tell you, man, this guy has an absolute jaw, huh? Oh, I mean, if you're O'Malley, it's like, what do you got to do? Yeah, you're exactly. You're thinking to yourself, what do I got to do, this guy? I mean, that 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 was a solid yeah. in the face. They heard that in Ecuador for sure. Both men just standing in the middle of the octagon right now. It seems like they're sizing each other up. Sean throwing some combos, going back to the body. If, if Sean wins this round, all he has to do is maintain. All he has to do is just keep up the tempo, keep yep. up the pace, and just back off a little bit and just continue doing what you're doing into the championship rounds. Because if he wins round number three, then if it goes to a decision, he's obviously going to win it. So you can either play it safe or you can just go for the fucking kill. Because right now, Vera is for the pick right now. He's fighting on the outside, you, which is something you don't yeah, want to do. Sean O'Malley. At any moment, Cheeto can come, can come right back. And you know Sean wants to knock him out here. Yeah. Absolutely. You know Sean wants to knock him out. He wants to KO bad. You got three minutes left round number three. Sean switching up stances a little bit. Finding, finding the home for the straight right jabs. The straight left Dude, is just, just it's it's hitting Cheeto. Every, every time he takes a step forward, Cheeto gets touched with the left. Mally, ha Mally has 58% to Vera's uh, 47. I mean, he's he's getting his fucking ass kicked right now. Yeah, he's no, and he, I'm telling you, man, every left, every left is getting through here. Man, oh, oh! You know, throwing some combos of his own. Sean's getting that. Sean backs right out though. Cheeto keeps coming in halfway through round number two, uh, round number three. And Cheeto, he keeps regaining control of the center of the octagon. Sean's now taken back by O'Malley, but. O'Malley just touches his body constantly, man. Just those little punches to the body. This, but I feel like Cheeto job. wants a dog fight. Oh, yeah. I feel like Cheeto wants a dog fight. Yeah. All it takes is one swing, man. Yep. Oh, man. Sean with the, the left, left, right combo to the body again. 
Great combinations. About a minute four five round three. Yeah, great combos. You know, Sean, I'm just mixing up everything right now. And Vera, every time he she tries to engage, O'Malley's oh, making a fucking no left from O'Malley. Cheeto seems to have no answer for O'Malley right now. Not at all. Not in the slightest. 42 head strikes from O'Malley versus 15 head strikes from Cheeto. And now, you, now he's got Cheeto fainting too. Cheeto biting on all the fakes. Left gets through again. And all Sean's doing, like fucking Vera is skipping to his loot right now. All Vera is doing is fighting yep. on the outside. And every time Mally shifts his dick to the left or the right or throws something, fucking Vera is uh, like fucking covering up. Like, you know, that's oh, not how you play. Left. Oh, no. One minute left. Jake. One minute left. Oh, oh Sean got hit with the left though. Sean looks like he, that, he felt that one. He knows he's here now. 45 seconds left in round three. Every time Cheeto tries to walk in, he gets, he gets, he gets hit with the jab. And oh my god, look at the, the fucking metrics. I mean, Vera only landed 15 punches to the head while Mally landed 42. I mean, oh, oh big oh, right. Sean oh, with the knee. 30 seconds left, round number three. Oh. Oh, Cheeto is just he keeps pushing the pace too. It's crazy. Oh man, Sean just missed that knee. Don't leave that head down yep. there, Sean. Looks like he's getting comfy. 15 oh, seconds. Oh, left. Cheeto's yeah, making some man. moves here. Yeah, he got him a little bit. Cheeto letting Sean know. Ten seconds left. Cheeto found found a home for that right hand over the over, oh, over the shit. top. Nah, five seconds left. Sean's on top, throwing elbows. All right, all right, all right. It's a great fight. Yeah, they're in each other's face now. I love it. Cheeto's looking for it. Cheeto went to the wrong corner. <laughs> O'Malley just went to the wrong corner, and Cheeto said, "Get out." That's amazing. I'll tell you right now. If the zombie apocalypse was tomorrow, Cheeto is my first pick. Oh, my God. Cheeto just doesn't stop. Yeah. I'm just getting caught We're up. We're in right the now. championship rounds now, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the championship oh, rounds. Oh, I see what you guys are saying. Wow. Vera just turned the entire course of the fight in one fucking combination. In 30 seconds, Vera just turned it around. Wow. Right now, I that, that third round was tough. I think Sean might take. I think Sean might edge that third round again. It looks like, to, yeah. in my book, I think Sean's up three zero right now. Yeah, yeah. We're going into the fourth. And I'm round. edging right now, just thinking about it. But I got, I got Sean also uh, up three rounds. So Barrow's gonna have to go for broke. He's gonna, he can't leave it in the hands of the judges. He's gonna have to go for a knockout. He's gonna I mean, have to go for something get, because Cheeto's got some yeah. space left. So. I mean, going into the championship rounds right now, I got three three zero for Sugar Sean. Cheeto's staring yeah. him down. He wants it. He Cheeto wants, wants to smoke right now. Sean, uh, did Sean guess? I, I mean, who knows? He, said, he, looks, he still looks pretty fresh. I think, I think when the O'Malley's started. just shot. It just started. We just, we just started round number, th round number four. Cheeto coming at Sean. Yep, Cheeto pushing the pace heavy here. Oh! Or flying knee. Don't think you've connected fully, but, I mean, you got to watch out for something like that, especially moving forward now. Wait for the fourth round to throw that, baby. Yeah. Sean is just so good, so clean with the front kicks. Oh, strong left from Sean. Yeah, man, Cheeto, Cheeto keeps staying on the outside. It's going to just be enough, a, a tough you know, next two rounds. The crowd again behind Cheeto. Sean finds a, finds a home again for the right over the top. He just keeps punishing that right that left ear. Sorry about that. I'm reading the comments. <laughs> Fucking hysterical. No, I, I, love Joe Rogan. I love Randy here. <laughs> the polls at 52% O'Malley. Oh, O'Malley keeps pushing for. Oh, oh. Cheeto with the Cheeto with the with the left. Three and a half minutes left. Oh, Cheeto's Cheeto pushing. called him a little. Oh, bit. Cheeto coming in with the with the knee, a big knee. Oh man. Cheeto knows he needs a knockout. Turning Cheeto knows he needs a knockout. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. And Sean's good with the head kick, 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 kick from O'Malley. Yes, a right from O'Malley. Come on. A come right, on. a left hook from O'Malley. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh, oh Sean oh, gets Cheeto answers right back. Well, Max O'Malley up against the cage. Sugar evades. 
They're back at the center of the octagon. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding right now? Come on. Come on. Gotta finish one of these here. No, it's an incredible fucking fight. Even though I'm Jeez. 30 seconds behind, Jeez. what I'm seeing, I'm seeing you guys talk in the future. Oh! Holy okay. shit. That's a trip. Cheeto trip. But he keeps pushing the pace here. Can you fall down, please? Oh, man. Oh! O'Malley's oh, oh, bleeding. O'Malley's nose busted open. I don't know if you've ever seen Sean bleed like this in a. Ah. Two and a half minutes left in round four. I take that back. Cheeto loves it. Cheeto loves this right now. Throwing his kicks, throwing his combos now. It's like he almost it's like he almost waited for Sean. Yo, Mally's gassed. Yeah. But Sean keeps throwing those combos, man. He's so clean. He's touching them up. We're approaching two minutes left in round number four. We have the championship rounds. Cheeto is bringing it to the champ right now. Is O'Malley going to be able to retain this belt? Sean's just throwing and I'm 30 seconds behind. Right. That's why, once again, I'm, I'm quiet. So uh, get me a spoon so you can eat my ass. But oh. nevertheless, nevertheless, right Harry's doing a very body. good job of up, what I previously said, switching up his strategy and working angles. So he's baiting. Now Sean con controlling the momentum of the fight. As Sean comes in, He's angling him off, and then he's laying combinations. Very, Vera just switch up the entire fucking game within one round. Yeah. Very impressive. Exactly. Come on, and and, and Come you on. can see and you can see him feeling it too. Come on. He, knows he knows Sugar's tired. Yep. Come on. Sugar's mouth is wide open right now. Oh, Sugar with the left with the left. They're exchanging right in the middle of the octagon. Approaching one minute left in round number four. This is a fight. This is what you pay for. You're getting what you paid for right now. Oh, yeah. Sean is just throwing combos right in the middle of the octagon. These guys are – oh, wow. I'm seeing oh, everything you guys are talking about. Sean's getting hit. The guy just doesn't go down. It's right? insane. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Five seconds left in round four. Are we going oh. to get a round five here? I think so. We'll see. Oh, good left. Walked right into that left by Sean. Sean keeps pushing that pace, though, man. It, you know, it, I thought he was going to be gas. I didn't even with his mouth wide open. Oh, Cheeto's just missing. 15 seconds left. Sean with a big right hand. Hey, we got one. Take it out of the round. Just get out of the round. Get out of the round. Okay, okay, come on. Come on. Absolutely. Come on. Banger. This is what wow. we paid for. And the poll what has O'Malley. This is what we paid for. 53% of the poll has O'Malley. Wow. Significant. You know what? Really so I'll, 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 you know what? I'll, I'll be generous. I'll, I'll give that three rounds to one. You, I, I think, I think Vera obviously won the uh, the fourth round just based on uh, statistics and based on you know uh, switching up the momentum. You saw the momentum shift at the end of round number three, going into round number four. It, fucking great job from Vera David. I don't know. in this fight. What a fucking dog! What a fucking dog fight! Unbelievable. David o O'Malley still had significant strikes in the round four, forty-five to thirty-one. Wow. God damn. Cheeto, so Cheeto going looks. to the fifth round, obviously Vera needs a knockout. That that's what it just comes down to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> David I, looks quite I, a good. I mean, hey, listen, 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 Nico. Come on. You're here watching the stream instead of going out and getting late instead of hanging out with chicks. Round you're number here five. Here we go. I get, I get late afterwards. You don't. Oh my god, so many virgins in the chat. I love every single one of you, baby. As we go to round number five. I'm 30 seconds Girl, behind, so I'm letting these guys on. take over. Best round of the night. Cheeto pushing the pace immediately off the off the bat. Sean just keeps Sean just keeps mixing yeah. those lefts in, man. Yeah. He, he keeps he, right through the guard every time. That's gotta be so tough. Dude, the, if you can do that every time. It's getting through. Yeah. Can quarterback threading the needle? So again, he needs he, Cheeto absolutely needs a finish here. Absolutely no, needs Nico, a finish here. No, Nico, you're awesome. Don't call me names. Like it moves in your style, sir. Oh, oh big right, right, big right. 
Oh, Cheeto's, oh hurt. Cheeto's, hurt. Cheeto's, Cheeto's hurt. hurt. Cheeto's hurt. Come on, Cheeto's, Cheeto's hurt. Sean's, Come looking, on. For, Sean's looking for the finish here. Come on. Is he baiting him? Oh, Cheeto's hurt. Oh, uh, Cheeto's hurt. No, Cheeto's I don't hurt. think he can see it on his left eye. Something's up with that bad. left eye. He's throwing those kicks, though. Oh, oh, big uppercut from Sean. Backs him up against the cage. This Cheeto. Another right. Cheeto just won't go down. Come on, Cheeto. <laughs> this man is He's hurt. hurt. He's hurt, but he will not. He won't go down. This man is oh, still on his feet. O'Malley. This man is still on his feet. Sean just being precise. He's taking his yeah. time. No, he's... he knows he has to fight one. Oh my god. Oh big head kick by O'Malley. He he's literally just sniping oh, right now. Oh yeah. Cheeto is busted up. Three and a half minutes left. Three and a half minutes left. This is gonna be an absolute war for the, if he can get through this 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 fifth and final round. Oh man, Sugar is really pouring it on him here. Cheeto looks like he's got his feet under him again, though. He's trying to finish. Cheeto, no, Cheeto's left. Is, right. is, is there blood getting in there? Because it's not swollen. Yeah. It looks like it's footage. Yeah. Sean. Oh, big Sean. right from Sean. Sean. Sean's like, looking, for, Sean's looking yeah. for the finish here. Come on. Yeah, Three Cheeto's minutes left. getting fucking beat up right now. Sean wow. wants his finish. No. He, see, he knows yeah. Cheeto can come back at any second. These guys don't think it's no, they don't want another no. to do the ground. Right? He's got to fight once. He's not going to take that dumb risk. He's out. Knock him out. They're standing right in the center of the octagon. Cheeto throwing kicks. Oh, big right hand. Sean just keeps bodying up. Body. Look, look at this. Sean, Sean is really just putting on a moment. clinic right now. He's really got to fucking let it go. Yeah, he's got to go. But he, he can at this point. Every time he walks in, he's just getting touched. Approaching two minutes left. Fifth and final. Sean keeps finding a home for that left man. Oh, Sean got hit with the left now. Counter right, though, real quick. He's giving himself a shot. Yeah, he is. Cheeto's covering up. He's Yeah, Cheeto is. He's hurting. Cheeto's, Cheeto's face is already, is already, like, blown up. Yeah. Yeah, so Sean Strickland's definitely going to. Oh, and not Sean Strickland. Shit. Yeah, Sean O'Malley's definitely going to win this fucking fight. We got we got one minute. We are approaching one minute forty five seconds left. You can't count Cheeto out yet, man. There's plenty of fight left. Oh man, that left from Sean is just all time, man. I can't I can't even wipe my ass with my left fight. hand. <laughs> it's been money the entire fucking fight. The whole time for almost twenty five minutes. Exactly. Minute and a half left. <laughs> Cheeto, man. I feel like Cheeto's going to turn it on for the last minute, though. Yep. This is it. He's going to throw it all here. He's got to throw it all. You want this fight. Don't be stupid. Oh, Sean's still pushing the pace here. <gasps> One minute left. One minute oh, left. Fifth and final round. Careless, and he's going to ride this out oh, to the city. Oh, he, that's all he has to do, really. Back Cheeto up against the cage. Oh, left hook to the head. What a fight. 45 seconds left. Oh, Cheeto just missed with that front kick. Yep. We've seen that before. Yeah. Oh, Cheeto is pushing the pace now. Yeah. He knows. It's do or die right now. Oh, big deal by Cheeto to the forehead. Sean ducks up, ducks and out, in and out. Oh, man. 30 seconds left. He's in of his own. He's in a throw. Catch him. They're late. Body, body. Oh, Cheeto with his hands down. Yeah. Catch him late. 30, 20 seconds left. O'Malley, you O'Malley love to see in the championship O'Malley round. Close, O'Malley. Sean Keep looks tired. Distance. Keep the distance. 15 They're throwing seconds down left. right now. They're swinging. 10 seconds left. What a fight. 10 seconds. Let's go. Finish up, Sean. I'm not gonna oh, go. with the left. Oh, the Holy respect shit. To Cheeto. Respect. Yo, respect to both he these men. He what a fight. Oh, he my God, him. man. That was that's no exactly what we paid for. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh Sugar Shore Rally right definitely win this fight. <laughs> it's, it's definitely gonna be four rounds to one. They're I'm being generous with the fourth round. What are you gonna say? I I mean you can give him the fourth round, but that that fifth round, I'm telling you. Nah, O'Malley won all five rounds. You you think oh, all five rounds? Oh says uh also all five rounds too. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I would, I would be on board with giving Sean all five rounds. But dude, that was some fight, man. Yeah, unbelievable. And even though it was thirty seconds behind, Sean's so I just uh, observed the comments and just laughed my tits off. But like, just observing the comments and fucking watching the fight, even though being so far behind, you know, you could just tell. You know, like Vera had that last gasp of error. Uh, you know, at the end of round number three, going to round number four, he started angling off Sean. So Sean was over committing, and that's when Vera was able to angle him off, and that's when he was able to get the most strikes and get turn the essentially the momentum of the fight around. I mean, shout out to Vera for staying in there so long because there were some shots that Sugar Sean O'Malley that he landed. I thought, holy shit, Vera's going down. But wow, he stayed yeah, in this Vera, fight to the very end. What a fucking tremendous championship fight. God damn, what a fight. It's going to be Mirab. Mirab is going to be the next guy in line to fight against uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley. It's, it's got to happen. That's it. I think that happens this year. That's it. Yeah, that's got to happen this year. We just got to ask if this happens this year. It's got to happen this year, you think. End of the year, maybe? No, maybe, maybe the uh, November card and uh, back at MSG? I would, you know what, they, they, UFC, and you were in MSG too. So, like, I, I think they're going to do it in MSG, considering that one, Marab has a huge fan base in New York training out of Long Island. He's a friend of the show, and so is Team Roar, who's going to be fighting uh, against a very tough opponent, Michael Johnson. But, yeah, I, I think that would make the most sense to uh, fucking do that. And, by the way, shout out to the Oven Podcast. 30 seconds behind, and these guys just took the show by fucking storm. And I'm not selfish, baby. Usually I'm in the usually I'm in the lead. Usually I'm the lead commentator. But these guys fucking took it over. Fucking did such a fucking great job. Both these big dick bandits. While I read the comments, and we by the way stick around after the decision. We're going to the post fight press conference. Then we're going to me, my show, the aftermath, which we're gonna talk. And you guys. Stay in the comments, even if you're tro trolling all my bros and hoes in different area codes with swollen lip nodes and tiny chodes. Fucking stay in the comments. And if you like what you heard tonight, especially from these guys who literally stole the show, add the Oven Podcast and add Franco and Mario on Instagram. And also add D David Potter, the big dick band of all combat sports. Add me on Instagram, David Potter IG. But great job, Mario. Fucking Franco. You guys, you know, obviously I was falling behind and I was slacking, but you guys were fucking killing it. Well done. Well done, Lee. Listen, Come man, this, for the first time. this is it, baby. We learn from the best. That's it. We literally learn from the best. We watched you do it, and it's nice and easy. We got it. We got a nice That's little unanimous good. decision win for uh, for Sean O'Malley. Nice and easy, just like all these you kids should, who've right? been yeah. in the comments. The decision. All their mothers, nice and easy. Oh my God! Oh, we're all crying right now. Oh, by the way, if you stay in the comments. Whether to troll me, whether to say recipes to Rogan, whether to say go fuck my mother. I appreciate every single person. We appreciate every single person tuning in for the live stream of UFC 299. And by the way, also subscribe to the Oven Podcast. Drop more pays in a seasonal Check worker. Victoria's Secret, baby. <laughs> 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 Clearly review shouts to the Oven Podcast. That's what I'm fucking talking about, baby. Damn, damn, seriously. You're, I'm essentially, you're I, you know what, Frank was a good friend of mine. Franco, Franco, he, we fucking, we spent time together at, uh, at MSG for UFC. Um, I, I forget the number. There's so many fucking numbers coming up. Uh, but we spent time, hit it off right off the bat. We party until like four, three, four a.m. Fucking MC hammered and just clicked and hit it off. So I'm like, Franco, we have such good synergy. Let's work together on our show on Fight World Live on Amazon Prime. Now number five, Amazon's top 100. And also let's work on this commentating. So we had our live parties. We had people come. Steamroller came on our live streams. And fucking a, like. Franco, Mario, you guys fucking stole the show. Like, well done. Everyone everyone can Bro. fucking troll me in the comments and tell me to go fuck myself. Well deserved. <laughs> 30 seconds behind. I'm behind the eight ball. I deserve to get roasted by my people, by my trolls. And all my bros and hoes are different area codes. But, like, you know, you while I was reading the comments, you guys were killing it. So, definitely well deserved. Fucking shitting on me and loving you guys. You guys killed it. Hey man, like Thank like, like Mario said before, learn from the best, bro. It's easy when we're working with people who are in the same, have the same mindset, want the same end goal. That's what we're working towards, baby. Nice and easy. Fuck yeah, baby. And we're waiting Guys, the, for uh, everyone who is finally United decision win over Cheeto Vera. And now we're Tim going Welch, to I'm a big Sean Malley. He's going to definitely fight Marab, and I, I love to see. I would love to see fucking Marab fighting. Against Sugar Sean O'Malley uh, in November. 
put him in New York. Just Man. hold the card with Ray Longo guys. Fucking do it. Uh, please, dude. You, and that's such an interesting fight, too, because Marab is such a beast, dude. It's it's an interesting fight again because can he get his distance? Who knows? It's gonna. I'm I'm ready for it though, man. Fuck yeah! It's gonna be a great fight. And there, there's bad blood between both of those guys. And I was literally in the crowd, fucking with Marab and interviewing Marab when they were talking yeah. shit. Me and Marab, and we joked about this. We we trolled that fight into existence between Henry Sudo <laughs> and fucking Marab. We trolled that fight into existence, and Marab beat Henry Sudo in a in any. Very, very, very convincing decision. Beat a former world champion. Took down an Olympic gold medalist in 2008 Beijing. And now we're going to get Marab fighting against fucking Sugar Sean. Money fight. Mwah! Can't fucking wait for that fight. Money. Absolutely. Money fight. Fuck you. Yeah. Hey, but you got you, you gonna head you gonna head to the media room? Yeah, so um, um, we're, we're going to do the post press, press, press conference. conference. Tune yeah, in you know, right now. We're going to go live to the media room and the post press, press conference we, we on this channel. channel. And then afterwards, 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 we're going to go over to the aftermath. Wait, 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 there's no live stream to the post fight press conference tonight. So we're just going to go straight to the post fight aftermath. Okay, fair enough. So stick around for the post fight aftermath in just a little bit, in just about five, 10 minutes. I'm going to take a, beef, a brief break, go to the bathroom, do a real <laughs> live stream, baby. Maybe I'll bring this camera in for all these losers that are commenting how much David Potter sucks, even though I love every one of you. And by the way, the guys that are saying how much of a loser I am, instead of getting laid, which is going to happen for me tonight, not these guys. You know what? You know what? I love you guys. You guys are in the same boat that we are. We had to bring this live stream to you and suffer for you guys. And... We're proud to bring you the live stream every single time. Tune in for uh, UFC 300. We'll be also live from Las Vegas for that, too. That's it, man. Looking Fuck forward him. to that card. Another banger tonight. Looking forward to UFC 300. Looking forward to seeing everybody in the comments coming right on back. We had a great time with Fuck you guys. Without you guys, this is a show. So we need every time UFC 300, 301, and moving forward. Absolutely. So stick around for 10 minutes. Uh, you know what? We're going to take a be brief break, and then we're going to go right into the aftermath where we're going to talk about the post-fight press conference, and we're also going to talk about what we saw tonight. Stick around in the comments. All my bros and hoes in different area codes. Stick around. We'll be right back in just about 10 minutes.
The UFC 299 Aftermath, David Potter, the big dick band of all of combat sports, back with you for the Aftermath. What an incredible night of fights. A big shout out to <laughs> We're going to read some of your comments and what you think about the night. Holy shit. And by the way, shout out to my boys over at the Oven, uh, the Oven Podcast, also accredited with Fox Sports. Good friends of mine. We've been doing the live stream for quite some time. We're separate. Me in Miami, also uh, with Franco and all them, and Mario over in Long Island. Fucking killed the game. 30, 30 seconds behind. Internet sucks. That's what happens. This is the name of the game. Let them take over. The, it was the first time with them and Lee commentating. And fucking killed the game. Fucking killed the game. But wow. What did you guys think about Sugar Sean O'Malley? What a performance. Beating. Convincingly beating Cheeto. Just fucking tear it up. For five rounds, I don't know whether it was like four rounds to one or five rounds to one, but holy shit, more shots to the face than a Paris Hilton sex tape, more shots to the face than a Kim Kardashian Ray J sex tape, Jesus Christ, wow, and he was tearing up that leg, more legs, more shots to the leg than Nancy Kerrigan, just convincingly won, put together combinations well, Vera, shout out to Vera. Like a, 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 chill, a, a chin made of granite because those knees, those combinations would have dropped any normal man. But you saw at the end of round number three where the momentum started to shift and you saw Vera starting to find his rhythm, starting to switch up the momentum. The only thing that needs to get fixed is Cheeto's face from Anthony. I like your default picture too. Sugar 21 and 0 from Joseph. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know what? Such a fucking impressive win and a decisive win. And we, I was talking about this with my boy. Why didn't Sugar thank the fans? I'm not really too sure, cowgirl. What's going on, Shouty? How you doing? But we have to get to Mara, uh, Marab taking on Sugar Sean O'Malley. And put it in New York. That's going to be fucking game busters. It's going to be money. But what a fight. Producer man, come on. Put up some comments. Some some trolls and all my bros and hoes in different area codes singing the songs of my people. Techno Heike says O'Malley is a good fighter, but doesn't have what it takes to be the face of the UFC. Um, you know, it, it, it different strokes for different folks and every face of the UFC and every poster child has been different throughout the years. Like, let's go back all the way back in the day. I mean, Hoist Gracie was a part of the, uh, before the UFC evolved, before it was purchased by Zufa, it was uh, all about an infomercial for Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. You know, like he was the face. And then Tito Ortiz was obviously the poster child, which it should have been Chuck Liddell, but the momentum shift, Tito Ortiz got his ass kicked by Randy Couture, then Chuck Liddell, and then Chuck Liddell uh, became the face of the UFC when it was getting out of, uh, you know, it became mainstream, when it was becoming uh, popular. You know, the the, the 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 poster child is going to be different from every single generation. I grew up loving Kazushi Sakuraba, to be completely honest with you. But, you know what, Sugar Sean O'Malley, based on our generation and based on what people, the Taishi 5000s and everything, fucking going around. I think Sugar Sean O'Malley can be that that face of the UFC. I think he's already catching on. I think he does have an audience, and I think he is pretty popular. Roley says, I don't think anyone could beat Sean, to be honest. Uh, Marab has a good chance, you know, if he's able to utilize that takedown and uh, put the pressure on him. But the problem is with Sugar Sean O'Malley, he has a gas tank for fucking days. And Sugar Sean O'Malley has done very, very well against wrestlers and setting up wrestlers for his big shots and for his striking. Look at his fight with uh, Aljamain Sterling, 
uh, again, a friend of the show with Ray Longo MMA, he was able to set up Aljamain Sterling, bait him inside the pocket. He backed right out and then fucking landed that that right and just fucking knocked him to the deck. So, you know what? I, maybe Marab has a shot. I don't know what you guys think. You know, like, it, it's possible. You know, I love Marab. Marab is a fucking machine. He's a cardio machine. He has plenty of weapons and, and plenty of tools in his arsenal to get the job done. But can he get the job done? He, you know what? Sugar Sean O'Malley's on a roll right now. And I, it's going to take a lot from a rap. It's going to take everything he's got to uh, bring a challenge and bring forth a challenge to, uh, to Sugar Sean O'Malley. He's on top of the world right now, on top of the game. Sean has already been gifted decisions. Eh, uh, name, name some examples, please. Please elaborate. I mean, uh, I, I guess early on, I mean, a couple, like where it went to split, but... I don't think he was gifted anything. I think just Sean's a fucking talented fighter. If he was gifted anything, like, if it, 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 it was a complete domination, obviously Sean was going to win. But it was, quote-unquote, giving. Al, uh, Al Mali will do Marab like he did Sterling from Michael Aguilar. Uh, you know, that's a good opinion. And I could see a couple of different ways where it happens. But you never know, man. You never know. And uh, just like Stevie Wonder, we'll see about that. Okay, let's go to some more comments. What do you guys think about the fights tonight? What's your personal observations? Sean getting better and better from Sleazy Easy. What's going on, brother? How you doing, you big dick Bennett? Yeah, Sean is improving every single fight. And like me, I, I looked at all the variables. I did not see Aljamain Sterling getting knocked out and get dusted by fucking Sugar Sean O'Malley. I did not see that coming. Just like a blind chicken porno. Did not see that one coming. But it happened. And Sean O'Malley is getting better and better by the day. In every single fight, you just see vast improvements. It's not just small improvements, which most champions do when they get to that level, but he's he's getting vastly better and adding more tools to his arsenal. Peter Parker, Sugar got lucky that time ran out. He got fucked up with that left hook at the body at the end. Yeah, Vera, you know what? Yeah, that I guess I could see it from that perspective. Um, with, with, with Vera, he was able to stick in and was able to just stand. I, I saw the old shit light started to come. Every time, every time Vera came forward, Sean... O'Malley had a fucking answer for it and kept landing strikes and kept landing bombs and huge strikes. I think Sugar Sean O'Malley was also surprised too that Vera didn't fucking go down. But Vera, that just goes in a testament to the big brass balls and the brass chin that is on Vera. Vera did a tremendous job and who knows, you know, no one's going to know because we don't have a round six, but you know, I, I see your argument there. Very good argument. Very good opinion. Oh, just so you know, David, um, our guy uh, that we do have in the press room, he's going to send us some uh, audio uh, from his phone. Beautiful. Outstanding. Good, sir. Producer, where were you when I was silent because I was 30 seconds behind? And all these guys in the comments, I have to be quiet so I don't want to interrupt the stream. So I'm just laughing my balls off and smiling like a fifth grader discovering my first boner while these guys are just fucking roasting me in the comments. I couldn't answer back. I couldn't say, go fuck your mother. Uh, change your mom's lipstick because my dick is multicolored. I couldn't do anything. I was disarmed for for all these fights. It's all your fault, Mr. Producer, man. 30 seconds behind. God damn it. Fuck me in the beard. Twist and Betty says Cheeto was just a tomato can. Joe Biden would have finished it first via KO, via and guillotine at the same time. Ah, I, I wouldn't call Cheeto a tomato can. Yeah, I look at look at his resume. It speaks for itself. I would not call Cheeto a tomato can, especially anyone that fights in the UFC. I think uh, you play every sport one ball, but combat sports takes two. I, I think, you know, anybody that steps in that ring deserves our respect. Cheeto's definitely not a tomato can. He reached uh, the championship fight for a reason. Mike o, uh, OX1, do you think the liver shot mattered? It, it liver, trust me, I've been in the gym. I've been training my entire life. You know, like liver shots... They suck, and especially if you're not defending. If you don't drop your elbows to defend them just right, fucking sucks. You know, it's the worst. It's the worst. WW1 Inc., the knee will kill Marab. Marab has problems with Southpaw. Wow, what a great fucking opinion. Wow, well done. I did not think of that. I did not think about that variable. And uh, wow, great opinion. Excellent opinion. Did not think about that variable. Well done, sir. Well done. E Ethan Foster, no one talking about Poirier's comeback? Holy shit. Wow. Great, great, great fucking point. 
Again, blind chicken porno. Did not see that one coming. I thought Benoit, just based on how his career was projected and based on his last win and his last knockout in devastating fashion against our boy Steamroller, I thought Benoit was going to give fucking Dustin Poirier a lot of problems. I saw it happening. I, I thought Benoit was just going to be able to... And, and you had you had uh, our boys at the oven saying, well, do you think Poirier is a, uh, a gatekeeper now? I'm like, Poirier is always going to be a problem until he's in the fucking grave, baby. Like, until he's in the fucking casket, he's, Poirier is always going to be a problem. And the way Poirier was able to stay composed, just like the veteran he was and the crappy veteran, and Benoit, he waited for Benoit to overcommit, and then fucking bam, knocked him out, lights out, took him right off his fucking feet. What a knockout. Probably the, it should be knocked out of the night. Definitely should be knocked out of the night without question. Trucking cars. Sean doesn't have that dog in him and that killer instinct. I think he's a, more of a specialist. I think he he puts a lot of faith behind his technique that he doesn't have to you know go for the kill all the time. I mean, look at how Aljamain Sterling was pressing forward in the last fight and Sean Strickland just let it happen. Just let, let him fucking dog out and let him hunt. And then fucking caught him. Boom. Lights out. Presso changeo. That fight was over. So, you know what? I, I I think he's more he's concentrated more on being technical and not making stupid mistakes. And you know what? Just uh, you know, being that creative, elusive striker that he always is. He doesn't have to be that killer. He doesn't have to go for the kill. He doesn't have to completely throw fucking technique to the wayside in in, in like in expense to having that highlight real knockout because you know, if you're te if you're technical, if you're great, it's gonna come anyway. You know what I'm saying? So no, I I I I have I have to agree, you know respectfully disagree. Shaggy C4, Sean is going to lead the division for a long time. I, yeah, I mean if Marab can't get past, if Marab can't beat, and I I ask you this, if Marab can't get past and beat Sugar Sean O'Malley, who's left? Who is going to change? Who is going to beat and offer that challenge? That to Sugar Sean O'Malley. I don't see many people besides Marab right now. Ashe Marab. I'm pretty sick of these double champ pushes. Let's clear the division first. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of over the whole double champ thing. I'm kind of, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much over it. You know, I, I think everybody should lead their own division. I think everybody should, you know, stick in their own division. Be like, build up that division. Don't go and bump up or bump down to try to, complete or kill off another division you know what i'm saying like build stars in every single division you know and you know could you could somebody bump up and realistically win a title or bump down and win a title yeah fuck yeah of course you know like i'm not stupid but why do that when ufc is also in the business of making money and building stars and making those stars make money you know like i I'm, i i've been over the double champ thing since after conor mcgregor you know it, fuck it like i i I'm, I, i've never been a fan of the double champ thing or the bmf belt if you're gonna have a bmf belt bring back the super fight title that was fucking radical Jay Carlson Dustin needs his shot at the belt now. I mean, we would do that. We could uh, give Dustin a shot if it's worth it. You know, I I'm down with it. I I'm down with that fight. That makes sense. Peter Yang was a robbery. Uh, you're going to have to elaborate. I, I didn't see a robbery there. I think uh, Peter Yang absolutely... Wait, Peter Yang won by decision, right? Producer, I was distracted. Is the producer hearing me right now? Uh, yeah, I think he won by decision. Yeah, how so? I I, I saw a pretty uh, you know I see the first round going to uh, to the other guy, but I, I I don't see the robbery that was Peter Zhang. I mean, look at the takedown percentage and also look at the ground control and you know he was in complete control of the fight. So no, I don't see it that way. So continue with the comments, good sir. Let them roll him, baby. Producer slacking off right now. Well, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to answer your question, man, man. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry about that. So sorry, brother. Michael Aguilar, Marab is a fan favorite outside of the ring, but not much fun to watch. Eh, I love watching Marab. Marab is super fun outside. I mean, I, I, I joke around all the time with Marab how we uh, trolled the fight between him and Henry Sudo into existence. I mean, I was uh, I was in the crowd fucking interviewing Marab with the microphone, and Henry Sudo fucking yelling, give me him the mic, give him the mic. I'm like, no, 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 bro, it's okay, it's okay. And then there we have Marab fucking trolling. I mean, Marab is hilarious. But... Also, Marab is a smaller cat and a smaller guy, and I, I mean, I, I, I kind of see it from your point of view, while, while people can complain that he's a boring fighter, but also he's trying to get the job done, he's trying to win, and he wants to stay 
If it's not broke, don't fix it. Marab wants to stay to that one style that has worked. Earl de Pearl, who can give O'Malley a run for his money? I'm not really too sure we answer that. Oh, Gabriel Ruiz, you're gay. Oh, uh, not what your mom said. And by the way, tell your sister to change the color of her lipstick because my dick is multicolored. I love the fact that I was 30 second delay because then it was like, because usually I, I mean, I, I'm not able to answer all, all these fucking virgins who right now it's 1.41 a.m. I'm getting late after this. Trust me. I'm going over to my girl's house. It's happening. But what are you doing? You're going to go to bed with your dick in your hand and you spent the entire night watching me. We're in the same boat, baby. Only difference is I'm changing my boat and being a winner. What the fuck are you doing, my friend? So, no, I'm not gay. Thank you very much. Get me a spoon so you can eat my ass. Oh, my goodness. It's so good to talk again. Ah, we're back, baby. Daniel Perez, do you think Sean O'Malley can stay active? I feel like he might try to hold out and stay away from harder competition. I also think most people want to see a dominant champion rather a double champion. Oh, that's a great point. That's a fucking awesome point. Yeah, I, I would rather see a dominant champion for a long time and for the long run because that schedule is so rigorous, man. You're, you're training. If you're a double champ, that means you have shark-infested waters that you're swimming in and both fucking pools. I mean, it's... it's it, it, Conor McGregor, I'm sure that training schedule to stay consistent, despite the fact he couldn't, I, I, I'm very sure that he was burnt out. And that's the reason why you haven't seen him for a long time. Because... That schedule he was running, man, that pace, you know, a fighter's, a fighter's uh, uh, lifespan, you know, uh, in the sport is very, very small. That window of opportunity to make a lot of money and get those big time fights, very, very small and narrow. So, you know what? Uh, I, I think the double champ thing burns fucking people out. And I think I'd rather see a, do a, a, a dominant champ than a uh, double champ. Connor Cyrus, how much money does Sean make? I have no fucking idea, but it's probably a lot, a lot. probably a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Producer, continue with the comments, good sir. Oh, I'm trying to find something good for you here. Something, oh, please. something worthy. Please do. Our comment section was probably the greatest comment section I ever read in my entire life. And I thank everybody. Class participation. And I had to be quiet and let my boys do take over for lead commentary because I was 30 seconds behind. Did not want to fuck up their flow. And I'm not I'm not a glory hog. You know, even though this is the David show, I'm not. You know what? Fuck it. You know, like, I, I don't mind sharing that spotlight, baby, including reading all your fucking comments. I don't mind. We're all in this together, baby. It takes as much of the commitment of you guys in the champ in the, the comments telling me to go fuck my mother as much as it is me talking about fights. So I appreciate every single person in the comments. All my bros and hoes in different area codes. BRJ Strong, O'Malley versus San Hagen. <laughs> yeah. I, I, San Hagen. Producer, elaborate. Producer, Sam Hagen, do your research. Who's Sean Hagen? Sam Hagen. Get on Schmoogle right now. Do your job. Corey Sandhagen, you know who he is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sandhagen, yeah. I mean, okay, right on. I'm down with it. Gabriel Ruiz, I actually really like your channel. I like you, brother. Thank you very much for tuning in, man. I appreciate it. Once again, Fucking love every single one of you guys. We we had uh, we peaked at like maybe like ten thousand. We had fifteen thousand in the polls. Holy shit! Holy shit! Big dick bands right over here. Fucking love every single one of you. Catherine, does that do you see Sean's mental game? Um. Yeah, I can't really see inside his mental game, but I know he's mentally strong. You you gotta be when you're fighting the fucking UFC. Yeah, I I did not see. <laughs> Mark Jackson is Sean gonna have a chronic leg problems? I don't know. You know, I'm not his physician. I, I couldn't really make that guesstimation, but it, it's fucking pot. I mean, Somebody every saying... every fighter has a shelf life, you know, and father time's undefeated. You know, those injuries build up. I have, I've been wrestling since I was six years old. I have bad knees. I have a bad neck. Holy shit. You know, they build up over time. So, yeah, I mean, everyone's going to have problems, every single fighter. I mean, look at my boy Ken Shamrock, who's been on my show, and look at all these retired veterans, you know. Uh, Randy Couture is on my show. Yeah, he has chronic problems right now, like, all these fucking legends who uh, who fought in the game. Everyone's going to have uh, some type of uh, injuries. First time here and loving it. Can I get a shout out? Absolutely. Walk Durs. Absolutely give you a shout out, brother. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate you. Fucking love you guys. Let me see if we, uh, if we have... Uh... Oh, okay, I think he's uh, calling me with some, some audio here. 
Oh, I think we got some audio of the press conference. Give, 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 me, a, give me a second. Giving the producer a second. That's what his wife said. Oh, shit! Oh, so good to talk again. So good to talk again. Oof! My background just knocked over. Oh, wow, that was my karma. Like a blanchard in the corner, I didn't see that one coming. God damn, my background just hit me in. I, I made fun of you and going one second with your wife, and my background just like God coming down. Oh, stop trolling people. And my background just came falling on me. Damn. I never thought I'd Crazy. be saying this. Uh, we're here in Miami. The gate was 14.14 million. It is it was a sellout, 19,165 people. The highest grossing event ever at the arena. We broke our own record, and it is the fourth highest grossing UFC event of all time. Miami is on fire. This place is unbelievable. Uh, what they've done in the state and in the city in the last uh, 10 years is phenomenal. But anyway, fight of the night, uh, Dustin and Benoit. Performance of the night, O'Malley. And uh, we gave everybody who had a finish $50,000 uh, except for Dustin because he won fight of the night. That's all we still got. Talk to me. All right. I didn't know about you for a short time, so I just want to ask you first about Sean O'Malley and his performance. Uh, you know, he wanted to finish his first title defense, but he, he didn't get that, but he looked absolutely fantastic. So what did you think overall of his performance? He put on a clinic, and I don't know if anybody can finish Cheeto Vera. I mean, that guy's got a chin like nothing I've ever seen. Ate those two knees, um, big shots all night. I mean, everybody knows the power that O'Malley has. Uh, he ate all those shots, uh, even shots to the body that he took, kicks and, and punches to the body. Cheeto Vera is one of the most durable fighters I've ever seen. Yeah. You talked about the incredible gate tonight. I think they said on the broadcast it was one of the highest gates that didn't involve Conor McGregor. So I guess where does where does Sean stand in terms of star power for the company? and, and Biggest bantamweight fight of all time. If you ba Based off energy, excitement, uh, gate, and pay-per-view, it's, it's by far... The biggest fight ever in the bantamweight division. Where do you see his ceiling? I mean, our comparisons to Conor McGregor. I know that's a little bit tough. He's one of a kind. But I mean, is he one of the biggest stars we've ever seen? In the he's on his way. Yeah, he's on his way. He's, he's the biggest star ever in bantamweight history. We can say that right now. <laughs> that, that, what do you make of uh, this, these callouts of Ilya Taporia? I mean, is that something that you're even considering right now, or is it too soon to be talking about moving divisions? Oh, it's not Tuesday yet. <laughs> <laughs> on Tuesday, maybe we can talk about moving divisions. Yeah, I, right. I, I don't know about moving divisions. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know how I feel about that. I mean, even Toporia was talking about not fighting anybody in the division after just winning the title. Yeah, that's crazy talk. I want to ask you about Dustin Poirier as well. Uh, obviously, future Hall of Famer, legend, fight of the night. I mean, uh, what did you think of his performance and, and him at this point in his career? These are the kind of fights, you know, when you talk about um, I'm thinking how to say this. The fights, the, the, the fight that he took tonight with Benoit, I mean, everybody, when the, when the talk first started, and everybody was like, ooh, this is a bad fight for Poirier, blah, 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 blah. And then Poirier came out and said, you know what, I didn't die, and all of a sudden, this is shit that makes you a fucking legend. These are legendary fights. When you when you go in and you face a guy who is a savage and, 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 and uh, you know, looks like you can't win this fight or people think you can't win this fight, and then you go in and do it, in spectacular fashion the way that he did tonight a lot of these fighters um get very uh you know you've heard it many times in the past they want me to lose or they're trying to make me lose um i heard some nutty shit the other day from somebody that i won't even mention but uh we don't determine whether you lose or whether you win you do what we try to do is put on the best match made fight that we can possibly do and that's why Big stars are built in the UFC, and legendary fights happen every weekend. Nice. Last thing for me, given his legendary status and his performance, when it is Tuesday, is he in the conversation for a title shot in his next Poirier? Match? Yeah. I mean, Poirier, again, like I just said, I just went through that whole, you know, his stock again goes through the roof. At his age, all the things he's accomplished, all the things he's done, look at what he did tonight. And I don't know if you guys are too busy typing or whatever the fuck it is you guys do during fights. But if you stood up during that fight and saw the arena, it was insane. It was insane. And pe people were going nuts. Yeah, Poirier went to a whole nother level tonight with this fight. Dana, 
What did you make of Michael Bennett Page's UFC debut? I mean, he shot down Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland looked incredibly frustrated. What did you make of him? And his yeah, listen, he's got that style that's very, um, you know, he, he's he's a counter striker and and you know flashy and we got to match make his next fight the right way. Did you feel like Kevin sort of, I don't want to say gave up, but in the third round was clearly just like, I don't know what to do with this guy? I don't know if he gave up. Um, you know, I, I, I had uh, Michael win in the first round. I had Kevin win in the second round. And then you got to go in and whoever wins the third round. That's probably probably the first time that Kevin's ever fought anybody cockier than him. <laughs> uh, earlier this week, Mike Tyson has been re announced to return to boxing. I know in the past you said you didn't want talk about it finally again have you spoken to him about this one he gets mad when i do this but mike's 60 man i, I don't know what do you guys think about it who gives a shit what i think it's not my fight um I, I love mike tyson you know personally as a friend and he's one of my favorite athletes of all time um i don't know let's let's see what he can go in there and put together a training camp and come in and you know i, I don't like to see guys fighting it uh, yeah, thirty-one year age difference during that fight. Just you know, you know, you guys know what I think of that stuff. That said, it is on Netflix, which is a new development, right? Them getting into live sports. Obviously, you have a TV deal coming up soon. I think the Netflix should have gotten into live sports years ago. I think I think they're they're uh, they're, they're late to the game, but they are a force. They're a force, man. And and, and when you look at um, the amount of homes that they're in worldwide. Um, you guys heard me talk about this show, Reacher. I posted about it. I love that show. I hate fucking TV. I don't watch any TV shows, hardly ever. Don't watch movies anymore. But I love the show, Reacher, right? I can watch Reacher whenever I want to. I can watch it when I get home. I can watch it next week. I can, right? Live sports, like this event tonight, you had to watch tonight. As all these massive streaming companies start to get bigger and bigger, they have to, they have to be involved in live sports. Safe to say you'll be talking to them when your TV deal comes up? I'm sure we'll be talking to everybody. Uh, last one for me, Conor McGregor says he still wants to fight in June, and uh, he also mentioned he wanted to fight Nate Diaz in the sphere of Mexican Independence Day. Do either of those two interest you? <laughs> I'm looking for Mexicans at the sphere uh, on Mexican Independence Day. Nate? Huh? Nate Diaz? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm not doing that fight. Right here. Yeah. Uh, what did, I know you gave them bonuses, but what did you make of the performances of Curtis Blades and uh, Jack mm -hmm. Della? Like two guys that seem to be down on the scorecards and picked up in more comeback wins. Yeah, I agree. Look, look great. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you nailed it. I don't know what else to say other than what you just said. You, yeah. Uh, we had two uh, interesting entrances with uh, Michael Venom Page came out with like the, the cape and the Undertaker thing. He said that even the UFC kind of helped him out a bit, and then Michelle Pereira got approval to do his dance routine when he walked out so are we going to see more of this in the ufc i know it's not something you've normally done in the past no <laughs> so not a fan no uh joanne wood uh retired at, uh after the first fight what do you make of her, her career in the ufc i know she never got her title shot but she seems to be one of these beloved figures awesome human yeah she's an awesome human an incredible fighter and uh i couldn't be more happy for her i know that um you know i, I don't know how many years ago it was but pretty recent within the last five or something you know she went through some hard times and some ups and downs that, that people go through she seems like she's in a really good place she seems like she's really happy in her personal life and obviously happy enough professionally to finally call it quits so um it could not happen to a better human being absolutely love her and wish her nothing but the best last one for me uh in saudi arabia they've been holding a lot of these big boxing events you know with the pyrotechnics and all the the glitz and glamour not something you also do really with the ufc so are we going to see a lot of that when you do eventually hold your, your fight card there so I, I think the difference is that um and i don't know this for a fact but i'm just assuming the the the, the boxing events that they're holding they're, they're they're events and and uh they run all the production and everything else and and they put some money into those things, man. They really do. Um, but when we go there, we'll, we'll be running the production. Did you uh, see the match, the boxing match last night? Did you talk to Eddie after it? I did not. Um, I, I mean, I saw it on, I saw it on social media. Yeah. What did you make of that finish in the Francis fight? What do you mean? What did I make? Yeah, what did like, I make like, of it? What you saw, like it was, it was, it was. People are saying it's one of the more violent knockouts in boxing history. Yeah, I mean, going into the Fury fight. If Fury trained for the fight and didn't show up and, you know, 
looked like he ate Tyson Fury, that's probably the way that fight would have ended, too. I mean, listen, the crossover, you know how I feel about crossovers into boxing, and that's that's how they end, just like that. Dana, right here to your left. Um, uh, Ioanni on Chechik getting into the USC Hall of Fame this summer. I saw you guys got to share a moment after the announcement, I guess. What did you guys say to each other, and I guess what does she mean to you in, in the company? We both said thank you to each other, you know. Um, you know she's she's incredible. I love, the first time I ever ever saw you on a fight in the UFC I literally went back and grabbed her and said come out and watch the rest of the fight we literally sat there all night and watched the rest of the card together um, and from that night to tonight we've become really close friends and I have so much respect for her and you know she, she, not only since she's when she was here but when she retired I mean she still does so much stuff with us and for us and she'll be with us for the rest of her life Tonight's card um, had a five-round co-main event. I know you guys have done this a few times. More recently, we're se seeming to see it more for uh, non-title fights. Is that something that, going forward, like, could it be every card that this ends up happening eventually? Well, the, you know, the problem is, is that, like, this card tonight, and even more so UFC 300, when you look at most of the fights on the card, you're like, damn, I wish this was five rounds. But, you know, you can't do it all the time, and we'll be sitting in the room, we'll think of these fights that... The co-main event, and we're like, well, let's just see if they both want five rounds. Or sometimes the fighters ask for five rounds. You know, they, they want to go five rounds. So it, it, it's sort of just kind of how we feel. But I think as fans, when we have great fights, like as you look through, we ran the first promo tonight for UFC 300. So from the first fight of the night all the way till the main event, I mean, every fight you, you, you wouldn't mind seeing five rounds of. How difficult was it to, uh, tonight was the first time we saw like the bout order as well. So how difficult was that to figure out where everybody goes? Like I saw like, a lot of people talking about Bo Nickel being really high. So how challenging was that? I'm not kidding you. We literally finalized it today or yesterday. Last night we finalized it uh, right after the weigh-ins. We started moving a couple more things around. And then last night we said, all right, this is it. This is the card because we were announcing it tonight. So um, if we didn't announce it tonight, we'd probably still be playing with it next week. It is what it is now. There, Dana, over here. Mm -hmm. Just curious what your thought was of just the whole atmosphere tonight. You had the crowd, Tanny USA, Tanny Tito, all different flags from all countries. It was just, what were your thoughts just being here in that atmosphere? It's incredible, brother. I, I mean, it really kicked off and started at the uh, press conference. The press conference was insane. Awesome. Then we roll right into the... Uh, the, the uh, weigh-ins the next day, and then I, I knew tonight, you know, as long as some of these, you know, we got our holy shit moments with some of these fights that it was going to be electric in that place, and it, it was awesome. Miami is on fire. I mean, I just, I can't say it enough. This, this city's on fire. It's, it's, it's such a great destination when you talk about everything that makes a place a destination, and then it's become such a huge sports town and now a fight town. I came here, I came here with Anderson Silva, I don't know how many years ago and we held a, a press event and literally there was no press there. And we, we've put on a couple fights. The gates weren't great. But in the last 10 years, this place has just exploded. And then finally for me, you mentioned 14 million plus for the gate. Yeah. So is it fair to say that Miami will get another one? You'll come back twice a year rather than once a year? I don't know. I mean, I'd come back next weekend. Uh, it's that good. And, ooh, you know what's crazy is that let me let me just put it to you this way. Probably the biggest venue you can do in the United States is Madison Square Garden. Right? Miami is equal to Madison Square Garden now with numbers. Think wrap your head around that and think about that ten years ago. Would have never imagined it. Your opinion on Robelis de Spain knockout, it's a Q on Giant, to be of hate, uh, who was debuting tonight. All right, everybody. Thanks for tu tuning in and sharing the, the night with us and, and seeing such a marvelous show at UFC 299. We will uh, uh, see you at the next one. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, bros, all my bros and hoes of different area codes, we'll see you next time for the live stream and live watch party. Thank you very much for joining us. We will check you later. Peace.
just calling to say I 